let us start our lecture 5 so actually uh, we will start our lecture discussion from the inherent tent uh, inherent contradictions of capitalism so we talked that there is actually capital social and political power over labor a crisis of capital over production demand crisis so in uh, this slide basically show that uh, the rich poor gap got widened and the poor people became more poorer and the capitalist became more richer the cost of labor nature infrastructure and space increases significantly over time and economic crisis for the from the cost side but then the possibility of cost cutting will lead to the depletion of assets so kain therefore argued for curing the disease stabilizes the economy while preserving efficiency and freedom government intervention only to that extent so in order to solve this contradiction kain according to the keynes that there should be a small role of government in the market to solve the problem uh, here is uh, one example if you talk about farmer and rancher so they are two individuals and they produce two types of goods suppose they uh, their goods are potato and meat so let's see that each individual work for 8 hours a day and 5 days a week so total are will be four 40 working hours in a week and for farmer to produce 1 kg of potato it takes 10 hours and 20 hours to produce 1 kg whereas for the rancher it takes 8 hours per kg to produce good and 1 hour to produce meat so the rancher is at a better in skills to produce both type, type of good so he is at absolute advantage so suppose the rancher takes uh, he can, we can say that rancher takes less time to produce both potato and meat so rancher is more efficient than the farmer so if we talk about now uh, if we draw meat on y axis and farmer on the for the for, for farmer and potato on x axis so as we know that there are limited working hours that are 40 hours per week so if the farmer produce 2 kg of meat by consuming uh, 40 hours so there will be no potato and if he give all his time to in order to produce potato then there will be no meat so then we will get this ppf of farmer and if we talk about meat uh, and uh, potato graph for rancher so we will get this you can able to produce 40 kg of meat and 5 kg of potato now uh, we can see that uh, Adam Smith like this type of uh, <coughs> trade said that there should be no intervention of government they should trade by themselves so suppose they interact with each other and for uh, pre-trade scenario what will farmer will do uh, will do he will able to uh, <coughs> He wants to produce both type of goods because he, he will be fed up after some time of again eating potatoes and potatoes so what he will do so he will produce 1 kg of meat that is the middle point of this 1 kg of meat and 2 kg of potato and for rancher he will produce 20 kg of meat and 2.5 kg of potato so let us uh, <coughs> introduce trade among them so what will be the trade mechanism so rancher will say to farmer that to devote his entire 40 hours on potato production only so 
farmer will be able to produce 4 kg of potato only and 0 kg of meat and an ranger will produce 24 kg on meat and 16 kg on potato so he will be able to produce 24 kg of meat and 2 kg of potato now uh, what farmer will say why should I offer you so uh, this why should I listen to you that why should I give my 40 hours entirely to the potato also only so ranger will give uh, say that farmer to give away of 1 kg of potato to the ranger so you can say that he was able to produce 4 kg of potato now in exchange of 1 kg of potato the rancher will give 3 kg of meat so farmer will be able to get 3 kg of meat and he will left with 3 kg of potato and rancher will be after the trade he will be left with 21 kg of meat and 3 kg of potato <clears throat> so you can say that now the farmer has 3 kg of meat and 3 kg of potato so the point will lie over here which is far far away from this curve and it is a way better than the earlier case when there was no trade between farmer and the rancher and the same goes to the rancher he will not be able to produce 21 kg of meat and 3 kg of potato in the limited 40 hours so they both got uh, profit we can say that they are uh, at an advantage after having a trade among them so why did this happen so why so it, this is because of the opportunity cost so opportunity cost for 1 kg of meat so suppose that uh, if farmer do not produce 1 kg of meat wait 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 so let uh, you can see that farmer needs 10 hours to produce 1 kg of potato and 20 hours per kg of meat so if he give 1 kg of meat then he will be able to in order to produce 1 kg of meat he have to give, uh, give his 2 hours of 2 kg of potato and in order to opportunity cost of 1 kg of potato he, have, he has to give away half kg of meat then the opportunity cost of 1 kg of meat it will be given by 8 kg of potato and 8 kg of meat of opportunity cost of 1 kg of uh, potato respectively for the ranger so you can see that the opportunity cost of So you can see that the uh, opportunity cost of farmer of 1 kg of meat is uh, greater than the opportunity cost of rancher. So uh, in spite of being more efficient than the farmer, the opportunity cost is still less for rancher than the farmer of 1 kg of meat 
so earlier trade was were done to eight now trade are done uh, are uh, an example of engine of growth so both in the at absolute uh, if this shows that if any country is at absolute advantage of producing one type of good and uh, every type of good but they will be the opportunity cost will be higher for the developing countries than the uh, developed countries so here is the economic system this is the combination and this is the pure competition so here lies north korea here lies united states and japan socialist learning china venezuela mixed economies france so you can see that it was increase, uh, increasing only observed that the communist countries of the class were experiencing poor luxuries and the amenities while the remainder of the population had none so uh, suppose this is an industry and this is an industry so this is capital liberation for A and this capital liberation, uh, liberation of B suppose now this ratio is higher for B so industry A is more capital intensive and we can say that B is relatively labor intensive as compared to B so how should the uh, so to whom should we support in order to bring growth and uh, equality among the rich and poor to reduce the gap so let us talk about the public investment so cons concentrated in the area of public infrastructure directly friendly towards the agriculture or it should be directly towards the industrial development these are the three examples like where should the government should uh, invest in public infra infrastructure of the agriculture or the agricultural industrial development so how to produce on which basis is it should be on labor intensive should be on capital intensive if it is capital intensive the output will be more but the unemployment rate will be will also increase and if it is on labor intensive the output rate will be low but the unemployment rate will fall so different different type uh, what should be the economic policies to overcome both uh, to reduce both the problems this is the uh, production possibility frontier so this is the radius this denotes the capital production and this is the price this denotes labor intensive so how this curve should increase i have it should increase more towards on the machine side or it increase should increase more on the rice side so we will discuss it in the further lecture